Good day, my farming friends. How the heck are you? Good to see you. Welcome back to Susquehanna River Valley. It is still going. Holy crap, the time is... Oh, let's see. I just stopped it there for a second. I was doing a few things, but um, it has gone to 3.20 this afternoon. This is taking me a lot longer than I envisioned, but we are almost done. I only had to fill the cedar once so far, so I'm kind of hoping... What I have in here will uh, finish up the rest of it, but we'll see here in, as we go along. But man, what a process this has been. Now, here's kind of the thing I was thinking about today. Patrick, my brother Patrick, who is here, I tell you what, he's down at the uh, Sophie Secret Stash Greenhouses, and he was telling me, dude, we should grow some wacky tobacco. I said, oh, come on, man. We're already up a crick with this stuff. But he has convinced that me that uh, we should have a wacky tobacco. So he's down there doing some wood chipping. Not wood chipping, cutting up some campfire wood and building a little area for a wacky tobacco growing center. I don't know. I tell you what, that nitro dad, he's going to kick us out of the county. I swear to God he is. He's enough of this scoundrels here. I can't I can't take it anymore. But, so, and I was actually looking it up, man. Holy crap, is there a market for wacky tobacco? There's even a bigger market than there is for the uh, hemp stuff. So anyways, so we're going here. I got the... Um, the auto guy, the autopilot, the tractor. Yeah, they have these new autopilot tractors. That's what I'm doing here. So it's kind of going pretty good. But now here's the thing. I don't know what else I should do. Um, I'm debating. The bank called me. The bank called me and said, you know what? You are such a good borrower. You have perfect payment history. I know you're, you're doing good. You're making money over there on the farm. We're going to up your uh, credit line a little bit, your operating loan. So I happened to go in my app. We owe 885. That was a max out before, but now look at this. Now look at this crap. Now the bank is going to let us go up to 1 million 85,000 bucks. So I have another $200,000 in uh, operating power there. So I was thinking to myself, if I had $200,000 in the bank, what the hell would I do? Number one, I'd quit farming. No, but seriously, um what I should do, and I don't think it'd be wise to invest in more land. We got we got plenty of land. If you look at the map here, I mean, look at this stuff. You know, we've got um, in the green. That's what we got in the green right now. So I am happy with that. Two sugar beets, two rye, two soybeans, potato, alfalfa, and corn right there. Plus we've got poppies up here and corn up here. So yeah, yeah, two corn, two soybean, two rye, two sugar beets, a poppy. And an alfalfa. So that's pretty good. Now, so if we did have $200,000, uh, it would it would buy that field. It'd buy these three fields. Um, it could buy those two fields, not this one. It could buy this one. And I was looking at the land up here. It's got the, but that just includes the road. You know, there's nothing really mobile there. There's no trees really there. So, man, $200,000. So, you know, I, I have a, I have thoughts. The only other thing I was thinking about is we don't have a lot of grass. We don't have any grass fields. And uh, Patrick went out to try, sent him out to try to mow across the yard and then down by the horse and sheep, and it's not mowable yet. So we can't even mow grass if we wanted to. So with that said, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, at a, I'm kind of torn on what the next course of action is. I could go down to the forestry. I could chop up some, some campfire wood, go sell that, make a little bit of money. But, I, man, I, I hate the thought of borrowing all that money again because it's going to be hard to pay that back. I mean, you, you get to the million-dollar range, now you're, now you're really in a pickle. So, I don't know. I don't know what. I, I, I'm just kind of lost here what really to do. I'm, I'm worried, now that I think about it, I, if we go into the soil composition, I am worried about... Well, let's go back to growth here first. Look at this. Now... We have some stuff in dark green already. The three spelt fields are dark green, so they're going to be ready to be harvested pretty soon. Um, the poppy field over here, 105 is poppy as well, and they don't have full grow full fertilization on. So I better hop in that damn sprayer and go up here and get a spray because I might not get three stages of fertilization on 105. Let's see. Yeah, and these spelt fields take off the lime there. Yeah, well, let's see, is that was that first stage or second stage? No, that's first stage, second stage, third stage. Yeah, so they only have one stage of fertilization on there. 
and I'm afraid the growth um, the uh, growth is going to be too much that I'm not going to get two applications on there. So I better go up and get them sprayed now. I better do that. That would be the wise thing to do because I want to have a good bumper crop on that. Uh, oh, no, I can't spray them. Oh, crap, I can't. I can't spray them. I don't own them. Well, 82 I could. I can go spray 82. Is there any contracts for uh, spraying here? Um, 57, 79, 96, 97, 98. 96, 97, 98. 5779. Yeah, they're not none of the ones that I that I have because 104 is good. Man, that that's kind of a pickle now at oh 74. I should go spray 74 and 82. I better go spray them and then I can think about what to do next. I better go do that. But we're almost done here. I got uh, a couple more passes. I'll finish this up and then I'm gonna hop in the sprayer. We'll head up there. We, we better we better do some farming. We've been doing enough dinking around here with the uh, green houses and the forestry and the forest road. I got to get back to my farm and get back to the roots here. But anyways, hope you're having a great Saturday. It's good to see you. Hope you're staying safe and healthy. And uh, we'll see you back here in just a little bit. Cheers. Probably should have washed this thing before I uh, left the yard there. I didn't think about that. But we'll head up here. Our little poppy field 74 is right next to our apple orchard. <clears throat> so we got that going for us. Now I'm kind of contemplating. I, I think about this on the way over. I'm contemplating selling the apple orchard. I, I really am. I don't know if it's something that we need to hold on to. And there are people that are uh, looking for a good apple orchard. So I was just thinking about that. How much is my apple orchard worth, matter of fact? Ten, oh, 10000 bucks. Nah, I might as well hold on to it. 10000 bucks. That's Here I was thinking I was on to something. Yeah, so here's the thing to know. I don't know if this is even going to let me fertilize this. I really screwed up. Because um, this is kind of, uh, you know what I mean? This is kind of growing here. I mean, this thing is darn near, oh, I can't get my booms up anymore. You can't put my booms up? Uh, no, I can't put my booms up on this one. Okay. So, we'll give it a shot here. We'll actually see if it takes takes a fertilizing stage as we wreck through all our poppies here, but um, the goodness of the game, we got these fancy real crap tires on here. It doesn't really matter. So, I don't know if this is working anything or not. Is it changing? Yeah, I think maybe it is working. So that means that this poppy field here, we're not going to get a third fertilizing stage on. Poppies, I can't believe how fast they've grown. Holy buckets. Yeah, we won't get a, a third fertilizing stage. Let's only have two. Because I think these are damn near ready to be harvested. And uh, you got to have at least a growth state in between fertilizer applications. So, yeah, I think we're I think we're screwed there. And then our corn, right to... Oh, no, our corn is over there across the freeway. we got to go there next. Um, that one might be able to get two because of the corn. I'm going to double, double check here to make sure that we are getting a second. Yeah, we are. Okay, we are getting a second stage on there. Good. Now, I will try it again um, probably tomorrow, but I don't think that we will get um, a third stage on here. We would be destroying it. We should have used the airplane. Should have used the airplane. Why didn't I think? Why didn't I use the airplane? Why didn't I call Zeke and say, hey, bring the airplane back? That This would have been a perfect... This would have been a perfect, perfect field to uh, use the old-fashioned crop duster airplane. Why didn't I think of that? Because there's no trees, no power lines. Oh, man, next time. Next time. I'll have to get that airplane back. Maybe I should buy one. Maybe I should buy one. I think I should. But the, but the uh, holding capacity for uh, liquid fertilizer is not real high on that airplane. So we'll just pretend that we're doing a good job here. But otherwise, I think I'd be destroying, the, I'd be destroying these poppies. Absolutely, I'd be spraying these poppies. I've never seen a real life poppy field, so I have no idea if they grow them. Do they grow them in rows, or do they just kind of like solid seed them? I have no idea. Uh, it's something I'd have to figure out. This is a bigger field than I thought it was going to be. Holy crap, this is a big field. Not too bad though. Four sixteen. It has freaking time changed again. Um, four sixteen in the afternoon. How the hell come my time keeps going back to one? I don't know. I'll have to take a look at that. So, in the meantime, we are just going to do a little spray in here. I'll go to that cornfield next and um, kind of get a good idea from there. But I don't know what else I can talk about. What, what, what do you want to talk about? Let's bring something up. Mention something. Let's talk about something. Yeah, apple orchard, 10000 bucks. Well, that's a cheap apple orchard. I can still sell it, though. I don't know. I've harvested um, uh, 15800 
liters of apples out of there the last two times. I already got one box there. But it seems to be, you know, now, with, I don't know, with the greenhouses and not Walmart not paying me on time, I don't know, maybe it is something to consider selling. Because I was looking up north here a little bit. We go to the next field about a possibility there. Is this where I started from? Uh, yeah, now how am I going to know where in the heck I left off? That's my problem. Oh, well, you can somewhat see the difference. Yeah, not a good picture, though, when the, when the uh, shading on the crops. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. So, well, I guess I'll just carry on with this. I don't know. We could just sit here. I could just sit here for 20 minutes and we could just um, talk to myself. But maybe I'll carry on. I'll, I'll finish this one. I'll catch up to you when we're heading up to the next field, and I'll tell you my little idea. Let me know what you think, and we'll um, we'll kind of go from there. But otherwise, um, just be a fertilizing along here. I'll be a happy fertilizer. Just just uh, happy, happy fertilizing. All righty, got that one all wrapped up. That is fertilized. I think that's the last fertilizing stage I could get now. I did call the people interested in the apple orchard, and I said, you know what? I've already got some apples growing, but I'll tell you what. It's worth $10,000. I'll give it to you for $15,000, and I'll include the apples. So I'm waiting to hear back from that to see if they're interested in that. But $15,000, I think that's not a bad idea. Um, it's a, you know, I could probably get $2,000 more, sell the apples first, but then I have to haul them and pick them up. So I'm kind of thinking that might not be a bad idea because I want to show you what I have in mind coming up here and what I think would be a good idea. I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just talking out of my pooper. I, I, I can't believe I just said that. Uh, I, I really have no idea. I did uh, call Bubba's down here. They do have uh, fertilizer totes, so I ordered one. They set it outside. I got to pull in here and fill up the sprayer. I only have 14% left in here, and I think I'm going to need... I'm going to need more to do that cornfield up there, so we'll fill up this tote here. Thanks, Bubba. I tell you what, Bubba's a good guy. Bubba's a good guy. Uh, you know, he works on tractors, too, and he even sells Mountain Dew. Oh, I should, do I have some enough change? I think I have enough change. Official State of the North Dakota Vehicle Inspection. I'm going to get a Mountain Dew here. Let's see. Uh, 50 cents? Not bad, Mountain Dew. Oh, that's good. Oh, nothing better than a good Mountain Thanks, Bubba. We'll see you later, my friend. Payment due upon receipt. Okie dokie. Here, let me get the door for you. There you go. Okie dokie. So we are all filled up. Now we gotta head up to the cornfield and I'm gonna show you. Whoa, crap, I don't wanna run into his building with my sprayer. That wouldn't be very good. Man, they gotta fix the roof on that trailer there. I heard some friends we used to be living in there. Huh. Okay, okay. Let's head this way. Whoa, crap. Stay on the road, sprayer. I just wish I should wish I could extend the booms, you know? I wish I could extend the booms out a little bit, make this a little wider spread. But I, you just gotta gotta go with it. You just got to go with it. Now, I'm interested. 5.35 in the evening. I'm interested to, tomorrow to see if we, you know, because this all that spelt in this poppy field, you know, they look like they're damn near ready to be harvested. I'm, I'm almost curious if we are going to be uh, doing some harvesting, which would be awesome, which would be absolutely just awesome. Now, we'll have to keep in mind that we'll need some kind of a harvester. So once I get up here and, uh, oh, crap, somebody's calling me. Hold on. Ah, Sophie says the uh, business is going good today, so I don't know what that means. I don't know if she'll be in jail or, uh, I don't know. Anyways, oh, our first thing Mountain Dew. Let's, let's head over this way. we got to cross the freeway here, and then we uh, hit up through the gravel road up to this field, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. If we can make it work that we would own all three of these fields, which I'm kind of hoping that would be uh, available to us. Now, with that, with that borrowing power, as I was saying, before Sophie interrupted me, we, we got to be, we, we're going to need a harvester. So I'm going to look on the online catalog here and see what the options are as far as a harvester goes and how much that's going to cost because I will need a combine. I don't have a combine. Didn't buy a combine. There wasn't one at the auction. Oh, no, wait, there was. I didn't buy one, though. I didn't have enough money. But we'll see. Now we come up here, we'll take a little right in this gravel road. Now, this is what I'm talking about. If I can somehow finagle. The money to buy 81, 82, 83, which is right here. Okay, so if you look at the map, well, let's do this one. So if you look at the map, I'm right here, right? So 82 we own, that's a cornfield. 81, 83, or 89 right here are spelt. So we own, we would own this whole area. But now look at this, though. This area here is all open grass, you know? So if I bought this for fifty thousand, well, actually, it'd be—I'd almost have enough money now because if I sold the apple orchard fifteen, I could buy this. I could mow this grass, 
this year. And then next planting, when we start planting, if I wanted to combine all these three in one big field, I could do that. This would that'd be a huge field. Look at that grass field. Ready to be mowed and everything. So, it's nothing to think about. That's what I was, you know, $50,000 is all that Nitro Dad wants for this little parcel of grassland here. And then when the time comes, I could just plow this all together and make one nice big field instead of three separate fields here. It'd be easier for planting and for um, spraying and all kinds of other stuff. So one field, you know, you don't got to worry about the different stages and what have you. So I'm kind of thinking that that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. So when I get here, when I get a call back from um, the people interested in the apple orchard, I will uh, then make a decision on that because I do have thirty-five thousand in the bank. If I got fifteen, yeah, see, I'd be right, I'd be right at the limit at this corn here. Oh yeah, that's going to work out pretty good. We can get, I think we could probably get another stage. So we'll have three stages on this cornfield, I think. These two fields I don't own yet, so I can't spray them, and there's no contract. Nitro Dad, is, I think Nitro Dad is kind of catching on to my little uh, story. I think he's trying to, I think he's catching on to the fact that I'm holding off buying these things to see if he does any contract work on them. <laughs> Hint, hint. So, that's that. That's where we stand. Oh, crap. I'm going to need more fertilizer, ain't I? I'm going to have to have uh, Patrick or VT bring me some fertilizer. Definitely. Maybe I should have them bring up the mower and a tote. I put a tote in front of the Challenger and bring the mower up? I don't know. Well, something. Because if I want to buy that grass field now, this would be one nice big field. All one nice big field. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that. It makes sense. I mean, if we're up here, you know. Yeah. I don't see I don't see anything wrong with that. I really don't. I don't see anything wrong with that at all. I want to drive over to the guy's felt field that I'm buying. Oh, forgot to turn on the booms. Got to charge the booms, my friend. As I run over some corn here. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's a good-looking cornfield, isn't it? That is a good-looking cornfield. At least we're getting something done today. So, yeah. Wage payment. Who am I paying? Patrick's taking more money from me again. That's sneaky, Patrick. Sneaky, Patrick. Well, you know what? Let me call Patrick and VT, have them bring up another tote to fertilizer, and then we'll see about this grassland here and figure what's going on there and uh, I'll be back here in a jiffy all right as I'm wrapping up the spraying on this cornfield here I had a little interesting thing happen with the apple field the apple apple orchard at first it said I did not own the apples so I fixed that problem and then I went to sell it and apparently you got to sell each individual tree I didn't want to do that in case I ever use it again so I pretend sold it Yep, they bought it. $15,000, and what it is is a 30-year lease. So it's going to say that we still own the land, even though at first it didn't say that. I didn't even catch that part. I, I know we own, I know I bought that. So I got that taken care of, but then I had to buy more fertilizer. So 48693 bucks in the bank. We're short to buying the grass field here. Gosh darn it, I think I want to buy that, so I'd have to borrow, I could just borrow $5,000. I could buy about $10,000 from the bank, we'll get to an, e or 15, we'll get to an even 900000 So, I think that's it. Let me just double check to make sure we are all done there. Oh no, I got a little corner in the piece here. Thank good for thank goodness for GPS mapping, because I thought I would have been done there. But at least the corn is still low enough that, you know, in a low enough growth state that I could have easily, if I just drive through my cornfield without carrying, about wrecking the stocks or anything. But anyways, so we got that going for us. So I'm thinking I'll just borrow the $15,000 yet. We'll make it an even $900,000. I'll buy this grass field here next door, and we'll be good to go in that department, and I think that'll be a good idea. We'll mow the grass. We'll put that in. It's going to be a trip. It's going to be a trip because we will have to um, haul it all the way back to our silage bunker. I don't know what else to do with it. I mean, I don't have, I'm not set up to do bales. I don't have baling equipment. Um... So I guess the best part would just be put it in our bunker. Unless we made more hay, we could make more hay and then just have to haul it back to our silo. We could probably could do that. So I got 100 and, let's see, that's done. Okay, I got 150,000 liters of silage in the TMR, so that'll make some good TMR. I don't know, how much hay do I have? 
stored. Is it going to tell me how much hay I have? It should tell me how much hay I have. Um, did I just, just go and buy it without looking? Hay, alfalfa, hay, slurry, manure, fertilizer, straw, hay. I have, so what do I got? Four, oh, I only got 43,000 liters of hay. So I, I should probably make hay with it. I can mow it and let it dry. What is the forecast here? I haven't even looked at the forecast for a while. Oh, we got rain. Rain on Monday. Rain on Monday. Tuesday. Rain on... Holy crap. That's a crappy forecast. Um, unless I got it mowed today and overnight it dried to make hay by... Well, that's 3 o'clock in the morning. That's not going to do me any good. Oh. I'd have to tet it, but it doesn't tet right away. That, that's a terrible forecast. Well, I guess we're not making hay based on that forecast. So, let's do that. Let's, um... We'll make it an even 900,000. Okay. And then we'll go in here. This is... I think this would be a good idea. This would be a good idea. And we'll purchase this land from Nitro Dad for 50,120. So, that would give us... Once we can buy these two... See, 122 and 45, 167. I have enough bioing power to do that. But, oh, I was going to look. Let's just take a quick gander at, at uh, combines down there at Tractor World. <sighs> what are we going to need? How much? What are we going to need? There's got to be. Here's a John. That's overpriced, way overpriced. Hey, there's an 8 go Challenger for 185. Well, that's not bad. That was, they had one of those. Oh, look at that. Flashing lights on there and everything. Uh, 185, you add the GPS, 200,000 even. We are kind of an ego farm right now at the moment. Let's see what else we got. Here's an S. Oh, hey. Why don't we just go with the John Deere? Yeah, we'll just go with the 9600. Absolutely. That's, that's what we'll do. As a matter of fact, I could even get two of those. 9600, how big of a header can I put on that? Um, let's see, where's the 9600 header? There, there is one in there, isn't it? Um... Well, there's an aerial. That one's got an aerial, 13.7 meters. Is that too big? That one might be too big for that auger. Nah, that should work. That should work. So that's eight. Holy crap, that's 89,000. Well, we'll have to give that some thought. Yeah, that's that's a flex, a flex draper head. Flex head of the draper. Um, this one. That's even cheaper. Yeah, that one would work too. It doesn't, doesn't have a draper head. But... Oh, I don't know. Let's see. That one was 49500 That was 89 I'd probably go with this one, I think, if it'll work good. Yeah. No, it's not an air reel, but it's got a Draper flex head. That'd be good for beans. I wonder if that's too big for a combine, though. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out and uh, kind of go from there. But there it is. We do. Hey, can I spray this? This is actually a sprayable field. Maybe not. What's happening? No, it's not actually a sprayable. This is grass. Okay. So that takes care of that. We got that figured out. I don't think there's anything else. I keep going back and forth in the menu here, but I don't think there's anything else that I can spray that I own. Um, I don't own any of that yet. Let's see. I don't own 86 yet. I just sprayed these. I don't think they changed the growth stage. I could on the way back. I could stop by 17 and, th and see there. 132 is a good 19. Yeah, I don't think they changed the growth stage yet. So I think we're okay. But for a Saturday, we'll leave it there. Uh, we got a few things done. I got the uh, alfalfa mode. I've got two field. Oh, Sophie's calling me again. Holy crap. Uh, be right back. All right. Well, got that thing. Holy crap. Now I got a mosquito flew into my nose. Oh, yuck. Oh, it's in my... I can feel it wiggling around. Oh, stay on the road. Ah, oh, Susquehanna mosquitoes are just terrible. Oh, yeah, that was Sophie. Now she bought a Papa Murphy's pizza for supper. And that was gun shopping, believe it or not. So, that's all good. Anyways, I think... Um, my goodness, Sophie. Calm down there. Jeepers, creepers. Now she probably told me she got a mosquito up her nose. But we'll leave it there for the Saturday. Thank you very much for joining me. I sincerely appreciate it. It's, it's kind of an odd one. I'm just, I'm, I'm really am torn uh, on what I can get accomplished and do. But um, I'll get a plan. I'll, I'll get a better plan for next time. At least I hope I get a plan. Thanks, just to be. She's, she's probably just irate with me that I am uh, doing things without talking to her first. But you know what? 
Um, it's my money. My money, gosh darn it. Anyways, we'll leave it there. Thanks a lot. You guys stay safe and healthy. Enjoy your weekend. And keep them between the ditches, my friends. Hey, look at that. Nice. So long.